Hi guys and welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use SurveyMonkey. So SurveyMonkey is basically an application that is used to take surveys and design and customize the best surveys for, for all purposes including business, educational, academic and much more. So if you want to know how to use SurveyMonkey, for this first of all, open your PC and head over to any of the browser you have on your PC and then go to the search bar and type in survey monkey login. So type in survey monkey login and click on the first site that is www.surveymonkey.com. Click on this site and you'll be promoted to this page that will look something like this. Here you'll have to click on sign up free. After you click on sign up for free, type in your email address select you agree to the terms of use and privacy notice and click on next. After that, enter all the details and set a password and after that you'll be prompted to a next page where you'll have to enter all the details, create a new account and then go back to the SurveyMonkey's homepage and here after making your account, click on login. After you click on login, you'll be prompted to this page where you'll have to enter your email address, then click on next and then enter the password that you would have made and click on login. After that, you'll be prompted to SurveyMonkey's homepage. Now we'll learn how to use SurveyMonkey. So basically SurveyMonkey is used for creating surveys and for that you'll have this create survey button just right here. So this is SurveyMonkey's user interface. The first option is home. The second one is plans and pricing. If you click on it, you'll be able to view all the plans, team plans, individual plans and enterprise plans for SurveyMonkey's premium. Now go back to the home page dashboard and here is the all surveys section. All the surveys that you would have created will appear just right here under all surveys area. Now you'll see your name at the top right corner and if you click on it you will see four options that is my account, library, contacts and sign out. Click on sign out and you'll be logged out of your SurveyMonkey's account. Click on my account and you will see this page that is account details, profile, data features, linked accounts, general preferences and much more. So here basically you can do the settings for your SurveyMonkey's account. You can go to billing details and see the billing details, transaction history and much more. Now go back to the home page and click on this boxed icon at the top right corner and you will see a products slider appearing at the right of your screen. Here you have all these options to choose from. You can select any one of these if needed according to your preference. Now click on create survey and you will be prompted to this page where you'll have to select from is start from scratch. So if you click on it, you can start from a blank survey page that you'll have to build on your own. You can also build a survey with you using artificial intelligence. You can buy targeted responses, copy and paste a survey, import questions and start from template. So click on start from scratch and here you'll have to enter a survey title in this field and here you'll have to choose the survey category and you can do advanced setting too according to your preference. Then click on create survey and this will create your survey with the title you just added to that page. Now we are into design survey section and here you'll be able to enter questions for your survey. For example, I want the first question to be what is your age and question mark. Now I will click on multiple choice and choose among any one of these answer types that I want to be added with this question. So I want this question to be of a single text box. So I will select single text box and click on save. Now. Click on plus new question to add a second question. Enter your question just right here. Click on this option at the right of your screen and you'll have the um, option to add answer type. So if you want your answer type to be check boxes, you can select that too. So these are all the answer types you can see. The first one is multiple choice. Second one is check boxes, star rating, best worst scale, file upload, single text box, comment box and much more. So you can add any one of these answer types to your SurveyMonkey survey. So now after adding it, you'll have to click on plus new question just right here and click on save. After you click on save, you can see I just added a second question with all these multiple choice options and now you have a dashboard at the left of your screen. Click on build and you'll be able to add all these features to your survey just by left clicking and dragging it onto your survey. 
Now scroll down and you can add new page, intro page, image, text, address, phone number, email, name, date, multiple text boxes, slider, single text box, image choice and much more. Now click on style and you'll be into themes and settings page. So under themes, you have simple, full color, heritage, high rise, dew drop, pastel, walnut and much more. So you can click on any one of the themes that you want for your survey and that will be applied to your survey. Now go to logic and you can use page logic, page randomization and all kind of logics that can be added to a survey. Now go to options and you have all these options to apply to your survey. That is quiz, survey title, exit link, progress bar, page title, number and question numbers, required asterisks, language and much more. So here you can see you can do that pretty easily. Now click on question bank and you'll be able to add different types of question bank to your survey and you can click on format and choose among classic, one question at a time and conversational. So I want it to be classic. Now after doing all this, if you want to know how to print it, simply click on print option and click on print style and you can select between optimize for print or use current theme. So I'm going to choose use current theme and click on include images, survey title, page number, print without page breaks. You can choose the orientation whether you want it to be portrait or landscape and then go to the paper size and select the paper size that you want and click on download PDF. After that, your PDF will be downloaded into your downloads folder and you can see right here, this is the survey that I just downloaded using SurveyMonkey. Now I will cut this out and I will go to collect responses option at the top of my screen. Now here you can see on this page it will ask how would you like to collect responses to your survey. So you can choose among send surveys your way or target your ideal respondents. So I will choose send survey your way and you can have the option to change it, send it by email, survey link, text, mobile app, embed on site, you can buy target responses, add data manually and you can post it on social media too. So you can click on any one of these. For example, if I would want to send this survey by share a survey link. So I will click on that option and I'll be prompted to this page where I will have the link to my survey. I will copy it and now I can share this link to anyone whom I want to take my survey. So you can see right here, this is the link and this is the survey that I just created using SurveyMonkey. Now if you scroll down, you have much more options to add to your survey. You can choose if you want anonymous responses, multiple responses, response editing, instant result, survey and page, custom thank you, recurrence and much more. So after doing all these things, you can click on analyze results and on this page, you can analyze the survey's result. So this survey has no response, you can see right here. You can click on collect responses or click on buy responses. So you can choose among any one of these and go to present results. If you click on present results, you'll be able to showcase your results on a dashboard and tell a story with your data pretty easily. So my survey has currently no results because I just created it and no one took my survey. But if you would have any results, you can analyze it and present it to an audience. Now click on the home button and you will see that your survey that you just created will appear just right here and if you click on the three dotted icon at the top right corner of it, you will have the option to edit your survey, preview your survey, send your survey, analyze your survey's result. You can also buy targeted responses and click on move to a folder and you'll be able to move your survey to a folder. If you click on make a copy, it will make a survey's copy that can be used for further editing. Click on share and you'll be able to share a survey. If you click on delete, the survey will be deleted and this action can be undone. So this was an overview of SurveyMonkey on how to use SurveyMonkey for creating surveys. So that's the simple way through which you can use SurveyMonkey. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.